Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's another HP signal generator. This one is a model 614A UHF signal generator. And this model is for 800 to 2100 megahertz. Um, I just pr recently had another one that was very, very similar to this one and that was doing another frequency range. And in fact, every detail on the front panel is exactly the same as that one. So please look that up if you want all the nasty, nasty details of this unit, because I don't expect to dig uh, dig super deep into this unit because they are super super similar um, It's just a different frequency range. So just the length of the resonator is the only thing I expect to be different um, Between these two uh, units. I will put the link in the description to the more detailed um, teardown video and uh, What to note here is the mega cycles is 1000 mega cycles is of course one gigahertz so i think this is a little bit later version where they changed the name naming of the 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 cycles here because the the other one was kilo mega cycles that was a little bit stupid so but this is a lot better i really like this uh yeah a lot more anything else here is exactly the same uh, except for one thing, this is a big, big warning flag. I am located in Denmark, Europe. So when I see stuff with a USA plug, I need to open the unit. There is definitely no other way. So yeah, first we need to open and verify voltage. And while I, I am at uh, the voltage check, I also need to cut this and put on a, uh, a Europe connector. And... At the same time, measure with an ohm meter from each one mains and uh, yeah, the mains uh, uh, pins to chassis. So I'm sure there's no problems when I try and power this up. So yeah, first we open. Now we are inside, and I believe this is the A section of the mains transformator. And look at that. I think the two primary windings are connected in parallel, like this. So that means 115 volt uh, range. I have already mounted a more local power connector. So I should be able to boot it up. What I want to do is I want to give it 150 volt because I got a variable uh, transformator. And then I will see if it works. And uh, then I will connect it uh, correctly for local mains. But I will, uh, of course, uh, cut these and then measure what is going on here. Other, otherwise, it looks ultra much identical to the previous model that I looked into. Everything here is, uh, yeah, a lot the same. Also, I see this uh, resistor here is uh, mounted in different locations in the different models. The Output power calibration is still mounted here. I think it's this one. Yes, that's the one. So you adjust this for the correct distance to, and then you adjust the, the drive. And of course the output attenuator is still this uh, coupler. You um, move in a little hole, I guess, so you can uh, so you can adjust the, the coupling. So this is the variable output. Everything else is just exactly the same. This is the the resonance uh, chamber, and this is of course where um, I think this is a cavity, obviously, right? So when you adjust the frequency, just like the previous one, yeah, no need to repeat repeat all of this. This is the temperature regulation for for the yeah for the resonator. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna power this up and see what happens. So now I'm going to power this up for the first time. I have adjusted my mains input to 115 volts and I think 100 
Yeah, good. So that that is a good peak, and also I see filaments are all nominal. So. Ooh, I can hear something humming. 120 watts. I still don't have any output. So, yes, I see this is good. So let's put this in CV. Okay, obviously. Yeah. Didn't I see a little bit? Let's crank this up. I don't see any output. So I think I adjust this for zero, right? Hmm. That is a little bit weird. I think I was at one. Oh, oh dear. No, we got output. That is weird. Why didn't I, I get output at the lower frequency? Let's try and dial this. Okay. Okay. Oops. And then it goes into harmonic mode. Did you see that? So, 900 and something. And then it's, it can actually go to the double. Yes, indeed. And then we crank it down and then it goes to double. So, yeah. There is indeed a bug in the resonator. That is interesting. But it works from 900. There is, um, this is probably why it was uh, thrown out. So let's see, I got it at 900. I say peak. Okay, so the frequency readout here is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so 900 and we're, then we can probably just yeah, let, let me do it like this, and then we just dial it all the way up. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there was a hole here again. No, it's pro probably just uh, something to do with the scan. Okay, and so in 2100, as, let's see if we can put it really accurate. 2100, peak. Okay, 21. All right, so I will go and play a little bit more with this, and I'll probably get back. So now I had this thing running for a few more minutes, I think like, like 20 minutes or something like that. And it is really, really stable and all that. But of course, this unit uses um, like a variable coupling to the resonance uh, chamber, kind of the, to the cavity itself, right? So that means the lower the output, the less coupling to the cavity. And then what happens is when I crank up the power, look how much I affect the resonance frequency. So here it is 996. And then let's do it again. Okay, 996. Okay, so it is in the decimals, right? <laughs> it is only because I am ooh, 20 megahertz and this is gigahertz. Okay, okay, I'm just super insanely zoom zoomed. And this is how, why I can reveal stuff like this. This is absolutely not a problem. All right, uh, all the other things actually also work. This is FM modulation, amplitude, blah, 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 blah. And then you get FM. And then this is the rate of FM. Anyway. Not at all interesting. Um, yeah, we did a uh, full teardown of all the details. So please look at it in the, in the link. If you want to see much more. Because this is a complete identical unit. Just another frequency range. Uh, yeah. Okay. One more comment about the about the. Let's do a full span again. So there is a funny fold. 
when I dial down, see? And then it goes to harmonic mode. And if I continue to dial down, this is in harmonic mode, and then it kind of just goes away. And if I go all the way down, yeah, and then it comes again. Ooh. So frequencies under 850 is a little bit funny, funny for this one. But if I'm 850 and up, it's a-okay. All the way to 2100. Let's see how much we can crank it further. Okay, 2137, that's it. This is what this can do. And it can do about plus 5 dBm. I am using a 10 dB attenuator here because I'm not going to blow up this analyzer again. So I really recommend you copy this trick with the uh, with the attenuator. Please do that. <laughs> no copyright in being smart. Oh, I love this nice indicator. But thank you very much for watching. I think we need to make a little video about this, uh, the mains voltage changeover. I believe this is the 115 volt uh, option because this is how it was with the USA connector and of course the instrument works perfectly fine with 115 volts AC. So what I did is I disconnected those two because I wanted to figure out the different windings. And now I measure DC ohm resistance be between this one and that one and this one and that one. So the two 150 15 volts uh, windings they are here like crossed so to to convert this into 230 volts all i have to do is connect those two not that one those two in series see now it's going in this way and that way right this gotta work and this is the 230 volt wiring on the A section of the transformator. Now let's try it. And yeah, of course it works. This is no rocket science. Uh, let's just show how much power it uses, 132. Great, let's pack it down.